Today is our English and Art and Craft class. Let us begin our day with English class. Let's start. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z Now we will revise the sounds of the letters which you have learnt in your last English class. Repeat after me. Okay? A says A. Ah. A says A ah, as an apple. B says B. B says B as in batch. C says K as in cat. C says K as in cat. D says D. D says D as in duck. E says E. Eh. E says E eh, as in egg. F says F says as in fish. G says G. G says G as in gun. H says H. H says H as in hen. I says E. I says E as in insect. J says J. J says J as in jug. K says K. K says K. L says E. L says E as in lie. M says M. M says M as in monkey. As in moon. K says K. K says K. L says M says mm. Now children, always remember C and K. Both these letters have the same sound. This is K. Curly, curly K. Curly C. And this is Kicking K. Kicking K. Both have same sounds. Right? Now children, we will learn to write capital M in our maths notebook. First I will tell you how to write it on the blackboard. I will write it for you and then we will learn in our notebook. Okay? Now let us learn to write capital M. M for a mango, M for a mouse, M for a muck, M for a mobile. This is my mobile. Can you see it? And M for a monkey. M is simple to write. It can be written with the help of two standing lines. And two slanting lines. We will learn M in a very simple way. Okay? Now look here. These are the four lines. As you can see in your English notebook. First line is red. Second is blue. Another line is blue. And the last line is red. Whenever you write capital letters, you have to write only in first three lines. Now children, 
I will make a standing line for M. Right? This is a standing line. Leave some space in between. Thodi jaga chorna hai. And you will make another standing line. Like this. And put a dot here in the center. On the second blue line. Yaha pe dot lagayenge. Jisse aapko asani hogi M likhne ke liye. And then you will go up. On the stop red line and come down with a slide here. Hum slide se niche aate na jule se. You will make a slanting line like this. As if a monkey is sitting here and it is coming down on this slide. And then what you will do again? You will put your pencil here on this standing line and again come down and make a slanting line like this. Right? This is M. M for a monkey. Again we will make a standing line. Another standing line. Put a dot here in between these two standing lines and from this standing line you will come down and make a slanting line like this and again you will put your chalk here on this slanting line and we will come down like this and this is your M and for a mango and for a moon let us see once again, standing line, another standing line. It is your wish, it is your choice. Aapko dot laga raha hai ya nahi? Mai aapko sikhane ke liye, samjhane ke liye dot laga rahi hai. Again, you will make a slanting line and you will come down like this. Again, from this standing line, slide down and make a slanting line. This is M. Now, again I will show you. Standing line. Another standing line. We will put a dot. Slide down and make a slanting line. Again slide down and make a slanting line. This way. And you have learned to write M. Now, aapne M likhna. Hai M for a mango, M for a monkey, M for a mug. Now let us write M. You can see capital M here and I have also put dots here. We will put a pencil here on this dot. We will make a standing line. Leave some space in between and make another standing line and we will put a dot here in between these two standing lines then we will make a slanting line starting from this red dot and come down like this and touch it here and again we will come down from this standing line and we will touch the dot here okay this way you will write M let us see once more. We will make a standing line. We will leave some space in between. We will make a dot here. Then from this red dot we will make another slanting line. And we will make another slanting line from this red line and come down here and touch it here. Again we will make two standing lines now children see this is the left standing line we will leave some space and we will make another standing line now we have two standing lines left and right okay you will again put a dot in between these two standing lines 
and we will make a slanting line from top and come down and touch it here again from top you will come down and touch it here this way you will make m it is very simple to make m with the help of this dot if you will put put this dot in between the standing line children you will able to make m very easily now i will show you uh, here again in this second line standing line another standing line a dot in between and we will make a slanting line and come down again slanting line and come down and join here both these slanting lines will join here okay let us see m for a monkey m for a man m for a mango m for a mug this way children you will make two standing lines leave some space put a dot make a slanting line come down from this red dot and this way you will make slanting line and another slanting line from here i have taught you to write m in first two lines okay i have done for you now you will finish the whole page and send me your pictures or videos of your completed work of capital m children now we will revise all the poems which you have learnt earlier let us begin with the poem all things all things bright and beautiful all creatures great and small all things wise and wonderful the good lord made them all each little flower that opens each little bird that sings he made their glowing colors and he made their tiny wings now we will say the poem billy boy billy boy blue come blow your horn the sheep in the meadow the cows in the corn is that the way you mind your sheep under the hay stack fast asleep traffic lights red light red light what do you say i say stop 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 right away yellow light yellow light what do you mean i mean wait 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 till the light goes green green light green light what do you say i say go go and go right away now we will learn the poem little jack corner revise karenge use repeat after me little jack corner sat in a corner eating his christmas pie he put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said what a good boy am i you will all revise these poems at home every day and send me your videos or audios 